Governor Kathy Hochul says she is back on the job after having a procedure to remove a basal cell carcinoma type of skin cancer from her nose. And she's reminding everyone to get their own skin cancer checks. Today is Stand Up to Cancer Day aimed at creating awareness. I spoke with a dermatologist who explains recommendations. It's all about early detection. New York Governor Kathy Hochul took this video with her doctor before the basal cell carcinoma removal procedure. It's done with local anesthesia. And posted this after. It's right here. You can see there's a Band-Aid. Doctors say basal cell carcinoma is the most common form of skin cancer. According to the American Cancer Society, this accounts for about 8 out of 10 skin cancers and usually develops on sun-exposed areas like the face. It doesn't tend to spread like other cancers that we look at, like melanoma or squamous cell carcinoma. Um, but it is important to treat because if untreated, it will continue to grow in the area that it is present um, and can affect underlying structures and cause other issues. Like invading the bone or other tissues. Dr. Eric Lesh is an assistant professor of dermatology at Mount Sinai Hospital. Whenever anyone in the public eye comes forward with a diagnosis like this, he says, it spreads awareness. Notably, earlier this year, a film about Bob Marley's life was released. He died at age 36 from melanoma. And last year, singer Jimmy Buffett died from melanoma. After that happened, I had several patients that came in specifically for skin checks and you know, reference Jimmy Buffett. He says you should look for moles or other spots with asymmetry, irregular edges, uneven color, if they're growing, and also get a yearly skin check with a dermatologist. Even if you don't see something on yourself, there are areas that you can't necessarily check regularly. Skin cancers hide all over. Um, you know, melanomas can be found in, on the, the feet, um, the nails, um, even we see cancers in the scalp. It is so important. So let's talk about access. The doctor suggests looking for free skin cancer screenings in your area. You can find listings on the American Academy of Dermatology's website. And the big tip, he says, of course, wear sunscreen. Super important.